So, uh, this is a video for Tracy that I'm also going to send to my mom. I'm going to show you a, this is our um, art that we hung up last week that I got in China. And then these are some fake plants because I kill succulents with extreme alacrity. Um, and some other little like geometric tetrahedrons that I got that the little plants are chilling in. And these are tetrahedron um lights that I got off West Elm for a deep discount like three years ago um, but pretty cool it's getting a little dark now so it's uh, not the most ideal viewing and right now it's like it feels like it's gonna rain it's felt that way all week um, and it's like rained a little bit last night but that's basically it this monstrosity is our cantaloupes and some basil peeking out our basil is peeking out. There's so much basil, I kind of regret slash not at all, um, all of the Thai basil we planted. But the Tabasco peppers are starting to come up. I think it's super fun and cute that they're like sticking straight up at the sky. It's kind of like giving the middle finger to bad weather or something. I, I like it. Um, lots of cantaloupes. The cantaloupes we had, like some of them are looking all right. We had a couple of big ones in here. Um, that I don't know where they went. It's the problem with this plan is that they get all over the place. There's a good size one. Um, this one looks like something is burrowed into it, so it's now trash. And the big cantaloupe we had, I thought we had one over here somewhere, but maybe not. Some habaneros are getting ripe. I have so many habaneros right now. The most productive plant we're growing this year by far. The world's saddest Thai basil being taken over by cantaloupes mums that are not doing so hot either this habanero is very happy look we got so many cucumbers which my mom has just sent a bunch so i'll have be eating cucumbers for days but this one this cucumber plant's finally starting to do pretty well it's got something on the leaves i don't know what disease is going on with it the dragon cayenne we have had very productive dragon cayenne this year it looks like we're about to have a lot more um I need to figure out what to do with this since I'm going to make a super hot salsa this night, tonight, or at least start um, fermenting the Carolina Reapers. <sighs> the largest, saddest <laughs> tomato plants ever. I think we've gotten like a few tomatoes that the stupid deer ate, um, but that's about it. Little planter bed. The Vinca's is pretty happy. Um, petunias we got on sale for like a dollar each or less because they were according to Lowe's garbage plants, but they're pretty happy. Some soil that has been there so long, I've forgotten that it exists. So I'll have to do something with that on maybe Sunday. Um, lots of tomatoes we've had keep on breaking this year. It's like they get too full of water, but they're not quite ripe. I'm not sure what's up with that. This is one of the many fences fell and took down part of this tomato plant. Um, we got some carrots and some, um, peanut shells and some watermelon and stuff. These over here are, I can't remember what these are. Radishes, maybe? Man, the radishes are like super happy. I forgot about these actually. Maybe they're beans, I don't know. There's something. Um, some like much sadder okra. So this looks tall, but look at those. Over there. It's like as big as the house. <laughs> um, lots of tomatoes uh, kind of in the upper right of, this, of the screen there and then the little pear tomatoes are beginning to come in finally um so these have been we've been growing from seed since like march and we have literally had zero that are ripe nothing worked in the arrow garden so i'm hoping that these ripen the next time or next weekend when tracy's able to visit I hope assuming she can visit due to the covid stuff uh over here ghost pepper plant which has done exactly nothing this year but it looks like we're finally getting some um little ghost pepper buds but up until this point it's not done much so who knows it's probably false hope hey this one's growing a cucumber finally um that's pretty sweet uh, this habanero i picked habaneros off it this morning so nothing exciting there um growing some mad hatter peppers uh we've had a lot of mad hatter peppers i don't know which where's the best angle for it um, this one here is finally changing color. It's the first one I've ever left in there long enough to change color and it's been like six weeks. So I'm hoping that it turns red. I'm gonna try to get a better shot. 
I'm hoping that it turns red in the next couple of days and not rotten. I did pick one that looked similar this morning so I could eat it and see if they were rotten, but it was super fresh, crisp, and awesome. This monstrosity here wah, 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 is the Carolina Reaper plant. So I have just so many Reaper buds, like so many. It's a little bit too productive. Um, just like dozens of them. No idea what I'm gonna do with that. We got some more bok choy, carrots, and radishes. Tomatillos have been eaten by some sort of stupid, um, stupid bug. They look pretty happy, but they've not been really productive. I think because the bug keeps eating every like holes and everything. Actually, this might be our little bug. Where is the camera? This might be our little bug pal here. I don't know. Well, now it's under the leaf. It flew away. Well, we'll have to look at that and see what we can find. Some bok choy that's gone to seed. It took one for the team, hardcore, from whatever this pest has been. Um, beans are like super dense. We clearly overplanted them. The square foot gardening thing lied to us. But look at that, green beans for the first of the seasons. These are all bush beans. Um, some of them are climbers. They haven't done super great, but some of them are supposed to be climbers. Um, some lettuce finally coming into its own. That's not been super happy this year. Uh, look, our first tomatillo husk is doing pretty well, or chrysalis, that's the proper term for it. I won't focus in. There we go, look at that, tomatillo husk. And then just a ton of um, tomatillos that, so far, nothing. Uh, that's our composter, I'm pretty happy with it. It rotates real easily. Um, we got a bunch of watermelons coming in. They're just young little guys and gals, so they gotta take a little bit of time. Um, this is our biggest one here, look at that guy. It's probably about the size of like a softball, I guess. Here's my hand for comparison. Um, and we got more coming in. They're kind of growing everywhere. Tracy likes to say that this is like a fairy garden, and if she were a fairy, this is where she'd want to live somewhere underneath those big leaves there. It's cooler in person. Uh, bell peppers, I think this is a red bell that's finally beginning to change. That's Tracy's first, uh, her favorite red bell pepper, so hopefully it's red by next time she visits. And look at these guys and gals. Look at that. We got some purple bell peppers, which are tiny, but very delicious and super pretty. Um, and we got some hummingbird mint and some other stuff. I guess that's about it. Uh, this, <laughs> this stupid deer took this. That kind of looks like a bat, but it's just the leaf that's dead. Um, stupid deer ate this, but it's coming back. I'm hoping that we get our first um, cucumbers here in a little bit from this one. That's it. Oh, I forgot. I We have a huge eggplant that I keep on wanting to pick, right? I gotta cut it. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I don't wanna cut it and have it without Tracy. So I'm like, I don't know what I wanna do. I have to ask her about that. That's it.